What's up guys, Shane with Pugadec 3D Printing and today I'm back with another Amazon Basics film review. This time we're checking out their wood PLA. Welcome back guys. So I've had good results so far from Amazon Basics. I've, their PLA printed great and their PETG printed fantastic as well. Now, I'm hoping to get some good results out of their wood PLA. And I just saw this was on sale a few weeks ago. I went ahead and picked it up. I think I had to wait a week or so for it actually to ship. Once it did, it came, you know, in a brief amount of time, just as it should has, should have, should say. Um, now the box is, if you have not seen those other reviews, I'm gonna assume you haven't, uh, the box is just a plain brown box with a Amazon basic sticker, which holds it shut. And it is in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different languages on here on what it is. It's 3D PLA, 3D printer filament, 1.75 millimeter, wood color. And it is a 0.8 kilogram spool, not a one kilogram spool as some of the others have been. And we're gonna get into it and see how it is. Now this is on, looks like it is the same spool as the PLA and the PDG came on. It says Amazon Basics has a couple of languages and again, it tells us it's wood color, not wood filled. Uh, another nice thing about their filaments is they come in a Ziploc bag. So you just rip off this top part, which that did not work at all. That's better. And you have a way to store your filament if you're not like crazy 3D printing like I do. Uh, you're a casual 3D printer. You have somewhere to store your used and open spools because you don't want them to absorb too much moisture. Can I get this open? Did it not? We do have some breakage going on here. So I'm going to have to see if this uh, has tangled or not. Let's see how brittle it is. It's pretty brittle right now. A wood filament is more brittle normally, uh, even though it does have a nice big desiccant pack in it. Uh, so maybe I'll have to throw this in the dryer just to be sure it's completely dry. This definitely is wood filled filament. Um, it's super rough, just as most wood filament is. No, um, honestly, it smells like cigars. Yeah, it smells like a cigar. Absolutely, up close. Up far, uh, away, not, not so much, but you sneak your schnoz in there. And uh, yeah, it smells like a cigar. So interesting there. Um, I like their spool design. Again, it's the same as the other ones. They have these two cutouts here that tell you roughly how much you have in there by meters and by weight. So ranging from 500 grams to 100 grams and then from 260 meters down to 50 meters uh, in both of those. And on the back, there's a little batch number right here that if you have any problems, I'm sure you can contact them and say, hey, this is my batch number. What happened? Yeah, this is actually pretty doggone brittle right now. It's all just snapping in my hands. I've only had this sitting on the shelf for like two weeks, but it's been in the bag. I'm not sure what's going on there. Anyways, um, we're gonna get this on the printers and we're gonna check it out. Uh, wood filament normally is not abrasive and normally depending on the content which it does not say i'll have to look at the product page if it says but depending on the wood uh wood fiber content in the filament uh, with the plastic usually it's like a 70 30 80 20. if you get anything above like 25 percent of wood particles you end up having to print with a larger nozzle much larger layer heights otherwise you end up getting a lot of clogs i had that with fox smart filament it did not turn out well I ended up not actually doing that review uh, like a year over a year ago. Um, but all the other ones I've reviewed recently have been a lower content, right around 20%, and they've printed out just fine with a point formula reader nozzle. So let's get this onto printers and hopefully get some awesome looking wood colored prints. All right, so I got a good variety of prints done here with the Amazon Basics Wood PLA. I have to say, pretty impressed. It feels really, really good, kind of like how a wood filament should be. It should have that nice, uh, textured feel to it because there are particles in there. I don't exactly know what the makeup of this filament is, whether it's 70, 30, 80, 20, somewhere in between there. I think it's definitely on the higher end just from how it feels. It actually carves really well also as I had to take off some stringing on some of these and just having a nice sharp exacto knife, it just kind of goes through it like butter, which is really nice to see and it leaves a really nice finish whenever you have 
uh, other film behind it. This was an under, extru under extruded part or drooping, I should say, and that did not turn out as well. But for taking off other parts, I'll show you up close here for a couple of the dimples you're gonna get or the pimples you'll see. Uh, it definitely really helps just kind of carve that off real easily. And that being said, let's take a closer look at these. All right, so the first print I did here was my Maker Coin on the Anycubic i3 Mega. And you can see there are some pimpling going on there. And the bottom, there's on the Ultra Base, stuck really well. And it did really, really good over the supports. I'm actually rather impressed with that. It has a, a nice slope on all of these. It's nice and rounded, I should say. So the cooling was adequate and it held its form well. It layers adhered to each other well. There were no under extruded parts anywhere. And it had very minimal stringing as it just had the pimples, but I pretty much got rid of all the stringing, which was nice to see. Uh, next one, it made this wooden track. Uh, this actually matches up pretty closely with like the uh, Melissa and Doug or Imaginarium. We have Imaginarium set here. And I went and put this on the table and it fits in pretty well. Need some cutouts here to make it a little more uh, similar to those, but the height and everything and how they link together. It worked out really good. This is a very simple, I mean super simple print as you can see, but looking here at the top, it's got a nice texture to it. The sidewalls look really good as well. So overall, it went really nice. Here's an example of something that I cleaned up. This was again on the Anycubic i3 Mega and I did clear off most of the pimples. So you can see there's very few left over, but again, it was just my exacto knife and just running it down. And some of them you can actually take off with just your fingernail. And I don't really have fingernails, but you can just easily scrape at them and they come right off and you actually get quite a nice finish once you do that. See, there's some here on these corners, just can't quite get to with my hand. But I was also very impressed with that. Again, it has a nice feel to it. It's nice and sturdy. Can't really snap any of these, so that's nice to see. It's only two perimeters with a 15% infill. So I liked it. I did the, this is kind of my favorite uh, pot to do right now, especially in this wood filament. And it turned out really nice, again, with the voice, uh, with the vase mode. Seeing layer changes or where the layers are is pretty much impossible. It turned out really nice. So looking at the bottom, it filled in most of the way, but this right along the bottom there, uh, you will kind of get a little gap there. I think I just need to up the extrusion multiplier in that lower part, do a multiple process to get it done. But I have noticed that other filaments, but overall, it looks really nice. Here I have this uh, Celtic skull with some other things in it and it also turned out really nice. This part here sagged quite a bit and I just cut it away and you can kind of see inside of it. This side sags less as much and that's an issue actually with the model itself. For some reason this part is not, uh, it's a little bit different this side. It's not symmetrical down the middle. But looking here at the details, they all came out really nice. Top layers filled in very well. You see the extra skull in there and all the other little bits and things. But yeah, see here's the little, uh, Lay from layer changes that you're going to see and again most usually with your nail or with a small exacto knife you can get most of that off or even just using your your little putty knife that you have you can kind of scrape most of those off so again it turned out really nice and there's a tiki statue this is from hawaii 07 somebody actually 3d scanned this so you can it's a little bit buttery looking it's not very uh, tight lines on it overall again really nice no under extrusion any of these prints which is really nice to see. And I kind of forgot, I also printed out the Protonome and 100% scale, and he turned out, I mean, gorgeous looking. Uh, the few retractions that you can kind of see in there, which again happens with the wood filaments, you kind of have to really, really tune in your settings. I use a slightly modified PLA profile on my printers for wood filament, and it could still obviously use just a little bit more tweaking. Overall, this is another win for me from Amazon. I know their, their PLA has been getting mixed reviews. Uh, for me, it had been great. The PETG, I think it had less mixed reviews, it was mostly positive. That printed out great for me. I went through a third of this and it printed out great for me. I don't really know. Maybe I'm just better at tuning these in than everybody else. I'm sorry, but that very well could be the case. I don't know though, but printing this on multiple machines, so this was printed on the Anycubic i3 Mega, the GTEC A10, and my Hypercube, all coming out just fine. I, I think it's other people not tuning the filament properly. It also could be a luck of the rolls. I don't know. Again, for me, it's a win. I definitely think I'll pick some more of this up. I, I do kind of want to get maybe one or two more different rolls of uh, wood filament. I kind of want to do a sand off. So I still have a lot of the filament left. I try to keep some for future ideas and projects. And I have enough that I could print something simple, you know, maybe like this or maybe my coin and kind of sand them and see how does each type sand, which is the best type to sand. And once I get 10 different types of filament, I think this is the sixth or seventh spool that I have, I'll be 
able to give you guys a very nice comparison. So if there's any other kinds of wood filament you guys want me to review, leave a comment down below and I'll see if I can get a hold of it. So this filament was provided to me by me. I guess, and also you guys. So this obviously comes out of some of the Patreon money and some of the money that you guys buy when you use affiliate links. A little slice that again, the money comes back here to help me at the channel. That's what pays to do reviews like this. Amazon is not going to send out review samples, especially to channels like mine, or way too small. And I haven't seen them send out any to any of the big channels either. So the only way I could get my hands on this was to actually buy it. So I want to say thank you to you guys for being supporters and thank you to my patrons. And if you want to join that, you're going to hear a message here just in a minute on how you can do so. But give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, thumbs down if you didn't. Either way, talk in the comments down below. I want to hear what you guys think about this filament. If you want to stay tuned what's going on, hit that big old subscribe button in the middle and hit the bell icon that we get an email notification when I upload new content. If you want to support me financially, down below me is a Patreon link. Do me a dollar or more. I appreciate it. That gets you access to my Patreon feed and to my after show, which I would do after almost all my new videos. Other ways you can support me is our one-time donation links down there in the video description. And again, there's a bunch of the affiliate links and coupon codes for different vendors. Using those links and codes comes back, a little slice of that comes back here to help me. And I appreciate you guys doing that because it helps me do videos like this. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, happy printing.